Right, very good evening everybody. So, the bombshell could be this. Could be. I'm not saying it's going to be. But the bombshell is starting to hit social media. I just came across something and it is a Facebook group. Toon Army United. And it ain't good news. It is not good news. Especially for our club. It says Newcastle United is ready to give Manchester City documents to back their case. And it mentioned in the post Everton as well. So, here's what I think. Part of Manchester City's claim is this. The rule of the Premier League is there must be a consensus of 14 against the rest now as it so happens the rest includes the likes of Arsenal Manchester City Chelsea Liverpool and Manchester United now th there's two parts to this two big parts we all know that when the Premier League meet the 20 clubs they sit around a big table and they discuss what's going to happen the implementation of rules etc so that we above our heads as supporters but here's the thing they're not happy City because they want to bring in even more sponsorship from Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates so that they have even more power in the Premier League and there's lots of different things floating around and they're not good they are talking in the extremes of Premier League titles gone trophies gone and what they are also talking about is Kicking Manchester City out to the lower leagues. Now, this case, Monday, two weeks of de 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 deliberate, two weeks of talks, and it's going to be held behind closed doors. And they were saying on TalkSport they won't even release what's been said. It'll just come through in filters. Now, here's the thing. This rule of um, third party sponsorship was on about an independent body who were going to look at that so the CEO of a said company would report to whoever this independent body was of why 
the sponsorship deal for the likes of Manchester City and how much they were going to pay them to make it a fair market value. And that's really upset those in Manchester in the city part. Now, the bombshell could be this. City are objecting that 14 clubs have the power to veto. And what they've been doing is, as I said earlier, dangling a carrot to the 14 teams from the six. We all know it's wrong, but they've been dangling a carrot. And what could actually happen is the destruction of our Premier League. So we go backwards. And that ain't good news. The second part I'll cover in the video after this. Because the second part's even bigger. But if this does happen, the chances of Newcastle United challenging for the Premier League title could be wiped out completely because you can't win the title if there is no Premier League. So therefore the actions of the few outweighing everybody else and this is the way I believe those high up in positions of power in every club have got to take this into consideration we all know the Premier League has a few faults we all know that but does it mean to us as supporters that the Premier League is decimated. Because let's be honest here. Manchester City are suing the Premier League. Now both sides are going to have the very best QCs. I think it's QCs or KCs. One of the two. But. Because more clubs are getting in on the action. It looks as though 2024 is the end. And that ain't good. Because what you've got to look at is this. Restructuring. In the very first instance, when the Premier League was founded, our club missed out by one year. Just one year. And in the time of that one year, and shortly afterwards, yes, we did go into Europe. Yes, we did. We had a fabulous time home and away under you know who. But his remit was for our club to just finish in up to 17 spot. He didn't care. And we all know that. Now what this means going forward is possible and utter devastation by pure greed. Now as I said in my video earlier today certain clubs i.e. one club in London 
and one club in Manchester and others have caused uproar. Now more clubs are joining in. Now the Premier League this could be the last one. And if you think at the end of the day I'm talking wet I'm out my backside out like that what you've got to think about is this we've lived by rules yes we have when we were taken over many of us fans were hesitant to say we're going to go out and buy all of these galaxy of players that didn't happen we were wise we understood there was rules and regulations and we built upon spot uh, sponsorships but there's a real fear now and that real fear is the end now I said there's going to be two videos the other one is even more hard hitting so I hope you've liked this video I really do And I hope you'll subscribe for more because this next video, whether you like it or not, this next video is like an atom bomb. So thanks for watching.